everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel for your awakening journey support. And then what I do is I give you my take on it and how it relates to my life and how it can relate to yours after I do the channel. So I want to welcome everybody here today and I appreciate you joining me in these videos and I want to welcome everybody who's new as well to my channel, Carolyn Zeiser. I'm a channel, I'm a distance energy healer and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor and I do these channels to support you in your awakening journey. So today's channel is about taking time off. I just got back from vacation, so I didn't have as many videos posted over the last two weeks. But now I'm back, and I want to offer a channel that came to me while I was there, the topic did, because they said they wanted to talk about this topic and encourage more people to take time off during your awakening because magical things happen. And so I'm going to read the channel, and I'm going to talk about my experiences, or at least some of them, that I had on the 11 day trip that I just took out to Utah and Nevada and it was magical. But anyway, I'm gonna read the channel and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about my experiences as well. Here we go. Time for yourself in your way is most important every day. The longer stretches of time too are needed for you to come closer to you. What you call vacation, we say, of a longer time, more than just a day. But any time you can get away from where you live, even if it is just the town over too. Somewhere new, yes we say, where you have a period of time in your way to relax and kick back and let all be put aside of the pattern that you get in throughout your day. For when you leave and travel to and change your surroundings, much more comes to you. Patterns and signs and messages too. You become more aware of them for you are in a different environment. Often you are more open, we say, not constrained to what you do day to day, typical patterns and stress too of the human life of the work you do. So when you get away, we say, opportunities to travel in places you likely have been in past lives today. You will never know this necessarily, it's true. Just travel to where your instinct takes you to and then kick back and let it be. Do whatever you wish. Oh yes, we say, time for yourself in ways small or big will open you up for remembrance, you see. Whether it is cellular to or knowledge that you now know, it is all helpful to you too. So understand that we wish for you to be the explorer outside of your own door. Time away, we say, even if it is small. Anyone can do this in their day. A trip far away across the seas too, or if it is just the next neighborhood in your city. We say, go find something different to do in your day. Set aside time just for you. This is important for you to become the fullness of you, offering new insights along your way of who you truly are. You will feel the refreshment in your day. Cells will wake up to more remembrance of the places you have been, we say too. So look at life differently and find any chance you can to get away from the day to day. You will find secrets unravel from all time. Enjoy this life and explore even more for everyone can step outside their door. Seeing more from their perspective will be brought into the everyday. During the awakening, it is true, so much more changes from the spark of moving forward in this exploration too. So venture out as you can, we say, and feel it intuitively and go your own way. So I love this channel because it really speaks to the idea of being able to break out of our day-to-day -day pattern we can get in. And I really can get stuck in a rut. Now, I have been very focused on the last two years of building out my new business. And in doing that, I've set up myself for a pattern of what my days are like, particularly Monday through Friday with weekends off, blah, blah, blah. But my days are pretty much, you know, I've got them scheduled out. Oh my gosh, that can kind of get a little old, right? Because what happens oftentimes, and I say old in the sense of the pattern, not the work that I do, but the pattern of that, and needing to insert something different. And what happens oftentimes when we get into these patterns of our lives, 
everything becomes so rote that this is the space we live in and nothing else can come in from the outside or it doesn't, all right? And add to that the busyness of most of our lives. Now, in the awakening, we start understanding that being able to step away from that is important. And part of this is taking the time you need. Two things here. First of all, taking the time away so that you have a more balanced life, all right? The awakening almost forces you to start doing those kinds of things in many different ways. For me, it's being able to take time off and not take my work with me, okay? Now, I worked in the corporate world my entire life before I went through my awakening. Every vacation that I went on, what didn't matter if it was overseas or where it was, all my work went with me. Every single night, I would open up my laptop and I would spend at least two hours going through all my emails, doing all my work. Well, not all my work, obviously. I can't get that done in two hours. And I was in that workspace. It was so hard to let go of. And I couldn't. I couldn't. I was at the kind of the beck and call of others, or I allowed that to be, I guess I would say. So again, in this life, I have a balance lesson. So some of you may have less of that issue than, than I do. But many of us take our work with us on our vacations, and that doesn't allow us to be fully released from that human, um, oh, they just showed me chains. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they just said bondage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and I have chills. All right. Well, that's how they're seeing it. Mm-hmm. And then they just said cage. Human bondage, chains, cage that we can put ourselves in with our jobs and the work that we do. And it doesn't even have to be jobs or work. It could be our day to day that we constrain ourselves within. So being able to, you know, be let out of prison <laughs> for the period of vacation and just saying, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do work. So here's what happened to me. I just took that 11 day vacation. All right. I knew that I was going to cut back. So before my trip, you know, with your own business, doing videos and things like that, I had to pre-plan. I had to get things set up so that I didn't leave nothing out there. So I did. I worked my Facebook. I worked a couple of YouTube videos. I did cut back on that, which I was pleased with myself um, because, you know, I knew I was going to be wrapped up in a frenzy if, in fact, I was going to be focused on getting that all done before the, the vacation. So that's important to know, too. All right. What are your limitations? What can you cut back on so you don't feel like you have to rush to hurry to do things just to go on the vacation and then be a stressed out mess when you go? Right. So then what I did and I was so proud of myself because this is not me. I knew that my spirit team wanted me to really experience this trip without being worried about staying up with my business. Well, I have my own business. It's me. I'm a sole proprietor. Can't give it to anybody else. So I was a little freaked out when I first went on my trip. So what I was trying to do is respond in full to people who were interested in having sessions with me. Finally, what I decided to do, because it wasn't working, I was working off my phone, is I would just respond, indicate to them that I was on vacation and I would get back to them on a certain date. What's wrong with that? Nothing. But for me, it was so hard. It was so hard because I'd never done that in my entire life. The minute I did that, it just freed me up. I could feel it. Fortunately, it happened about four days into my vacation where I didn't feel this great sense of responsibility over the course of the day, thinking about what I was going to be doing and working on that night. I challenge you all to do this the next vacation you go on, whether it's a day or two or, or a couple of weeks, whatever it is. What can you not do while you were there? The world is not going to fall apart tomorrow if you choose not to do certain things. Plus, you can also set yourself up to be able to do as I did, which is explain to people what you are actually doing, like you're on vacation. Most people understand that and then you'll get back with them, okay? I do realize it can be difficult when you work for other people. I have been there, but the thing is you can also, you know, speak your truth, take your vacation. Um, and you know what? If they don't like it, eh, guess what? That tells you, right? During the awakening, these are opportunities for us to change the way we are doing things, the, the bring more balance into our lives, really have that opportunity to experience the fullness of the spiritual awakening. So I did that. My whole vacation opened up to me when I just let that burden go, all right? The, the burden of that I've created myself. No one else has created that for me. No one else has told me I have to do that. But we create a lot of that burden on ourselves because we 
we a lot of us are very hard driving a lot of us set a lot of um, um, goals for ourselves and sometimes they're um, unreasonable in the sense of why do we have to do that all the time we have to be thinking about ourselves in this awakening journey so what this did was I opened up to so much travel in general and this is a second piece of this that I want to emphasize is if you have a burning desire to go somewhere be darn near guaranteed your soul is guiding you to that place because in the awakening what I have found is the places we go are either the places we've had past lives in most likely okay and remember part of my um, gift is identifying past lives for people and so it comes easily for me to be able to do that and so I am also able to identify past lives in myself but needless to say I, in the folks I've worked with, I do know that we travel to places, I know from my experience, we travel to places where we have lived previously. We are revisiting those places, places for a purpose, and oftentimes we feel very connected to those places. They are some of our favorite places we have traveled to. We also are able to regain that energy we had from those places. Sometimes we go because we had a trauma in those places, and we need to re be able to revisit that for a soul reason you may not ever understand that but you're gonna have likely a feeling a knowing um, a gut instinct another places we may be um, driven to go to are high energy places one example for me is Sedona I'd never been to Sedona to do a five-day hiking trip two years ago directly after my awakening I was guided to go there for a five-day hiking trip all by myself it was the most amazing thing that ever happened to me my entire business came out of this my gifts opened up the light keeper showed up it was the most magical thing so we also are, are often drawn to very high energetic places on this earth for a good reason so particular during the awakening is you are drawn to wanting to travel wanting to travel to specific places do it and I'm here to say, you can find a way. You can really find a way. Now, it doesn't have to be something elaborate. Start out small. If you feel like, oh, well, I can't really take that time. Mm, start checking yourself on that. Can you? Maybe you can. Secondarily, finances. We all get hung up about our finances, but you know what? Maybe we can find a way if we just kick back and don't get so concerned about this. But try to follow that thread and plan that kind of trip that your soul is telling you because what will happen to you during this time and again during this trip I had a number of things happen and I'll share one specific instance but signs and messages are going to potentially open up to you more fully you're going to be able to step away from that pattern day to day that we get in that keeps us often from seeing the signs from our spirit team and you are now open to so much more that comes your way. Pieces of the puzzles may be put together for your life. New signs and messages. Your angels and guides may show up. Now I'm going to tell you what happened to me. And there were many things that happened. But one specific thing happened that was a sure sign of, um, you know, just being able to be open to what's in front of us when we take vacation. So I had a friend come down who um, visited me when we were in the Lake Tahoe area. And that morning we got up and um, before my mom did and we decided to take a little walk out on the dock and it was still really early beautiful chilly day it's just lovely she's on the left side I'm on the right it's not a very wide dock and as we're walking we come across on her side a little dove feather perfection too just lying there and I said oh my gosh that's for you it's on your side pick it up oh my gosh you got a dove feather well she'd been getting a lot of feathers and I thought how neat is that, that she gets to experience that while she's come down to visit me for a day or two. So with that, we continue to walk down the dock, and all of a sudden, I spy in front of me, on my side, an identical dove feather, almost the same size. There are no other feathers. It's the cleanest dock on the uh, I've seen. There's another feather on my right side, and for me. And so we were both like, oh my gosh, and we're doing work together, so it was like, oh my gosh, our angels are telling us they're here. And this is a, you know, another divine sign that we get when we're going through our awakening, these cool things that start to happen to us. But the thing is, if we're not in a space of awareness, we're gonna walk right by those most of the time or lots of the time. Now, I will say in the awakening, that does shift and change so that you are more aware, you're more consciously aware of the messages being sent to you. But during the time of a vacation, of the opportunity to be able to cellularly honestly cellularly and mind body and soul connect in with places we have been to the energies of these places to 
the signs and messages that are that come our way um, we have the opportunity to have these divine experiences and oftentimes these experiences can start putting pieces of the puzzle together for us of our soul journeys and who we truly are additionally as a quick note i also visited some sacred sites um, while i was there and um, without going into the very long story it helped inform me of a past life that I then cross-checked with another individual, another friend of mine, who we started putting pieces together, and it was telling me a story that connected into some things I already know about myself and my journey. And so in doing that, in doing that travel to that place that we went to, I was able to uncover more knowing about who I really am. So you'll be amazed at the awarenesses that will come in, particularly if you're really drawn to a certain place or a certain thing. You may find that you can take that back and start thinking about your vacation and say, wait a minute, why is it I was drawn there? Why was it I was drawn to that particular thing, that particular place? Um, and, and you may be able to take that and then go into meditation on it and try to understand it more because I've actually had it where I have visited places before and then also vice versa, where I'll get visions then afterwards that will tell more of the story. So again, this goes back to setting up a good meditation practice for yourself, which as you know, I firmly believe in that is a core part of the awakening journey. So you may uncover more as you bring that back home, your experiences having opened yourself up because you took that time to not do all that work that you would normally do on vacation and to actually take that vacation and kick back and just let it flow to you. So I hope you've enjoyed this message today. And as always, I thank you for joining me. Again, look at my services, purplerainhealing.com, if you would like support in your awakening journey, whether it be channeled messages where maybe you end up learning more about your past lives or distance energy healing where I can assist you in energetic healing for your mind, body, and soul, or if you're interested in spiritual awakening mentoring where I channel prolifically for you as we work together in your awakening journey. So today I leave you with so much love and gratitude and I will see you in the next video.